Hello everyone and welcome to Economists in Channel. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic, how can Pakistan foster innovation and entrepreneurship in its youth? As you may know, Pakistan is one of the youngest countries in the world, with 140 million people below the age of 30. It is also one of the fastest growing economies in Asia, with a rising middle class and digital consumption. These factors create a huge potential for innovation and entrepreneurship, which can drive economic growth, social development, and environmental sustainability. But how can we unleash this potential and empower our young people to become active agents of change in their communities? In this video, we will explore some of the challenges and opportunities for innovation and entrepreneurship in Pakistan and share some examples of initiatives and policies that support them. So, stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's start with some of the challenges that young innovators and entrepreneurs face in Pakistan. According to the Global Entrepreneurship Development Institute, Pakistan ranks 122 out of 137 countries in terms of entrepreneurial environment, which means that there are many barriers and difficulties that hinder the creation and growth of startups. Some of these challenges are Lack of access to finance Funding is one of the most critical resources for any startup, but it is also one of the most scarce and competitive ones. In Pakistan, only nine startups received venture capital funding in 2017, compared to 34 in Nigeria, 38 in the UAE, and 790 in India. There are also very few angel investors, crowdfunding platforms, or microfinance institutions that cater to the needs of young entrepreneurs. Lack of access to skills. Another challenge is the gap between the skills that young people have and the skills that they need to succeed in the innovation economy. According to a World Bank report, only 2% of Pakistani graduates have skills that are relevant for high-growth sectors such as IT, engineering, or biotechnology. There is also a lack of mentorship, coaching, and networking opportunities that can help young innovators and entrepreneurs learn from experienced peers and experts. Lack of access to infrastructure. A third challenge is the lack of adequate infrastructure that can enable and facilitate innovation and entrepreneurship. This includes physical infrastructure such as roads, electricity, internet, as well as digital infrastructure such as payment gateways, e-commerce platforms, or data protection laws. Moreover, there is a lack of innovation hubs such as incubators, accelerators, or co-working spaces that can provide young innovators and entrepreneurs with access to resources, support, and community. Despite these challenges, there are also many opportunities for innovation and entrepreneurship in Pakistan. Some of these opportunities are Growing market demand As Pakistan's economy grows and diversifies, there is an increasing demand for new products and services that can solve the problems and meet the needs of various segments of society. For example, there is a huge potential for innovation in sectors such as education, healthcare, agriculture, energy, environmental management, financial inclusion, or social welfare. Emerging technologies Another opportunity is the rapid advancement and adoption of emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, AI, Internet of Things, IoT, blockchain, biotechnology, or nanotechnology. These technologies can create new possibilities for innovation and entrepreneurship by enabling new solutions, reducing costs, improving quality, and increasing efficiency. Supportive Ecosystem a third opportunity is the growing support and recognition for innovation and entrepreneurship from various stakeholders in the ecosystem. This includes the government, which has introduced several policies and initiatives to promote and facilitate innovation and entrepreneurship, such as tax incentives, regulatory reforms, funding schemes, or innovation challenges. It also includes the private sector, which has invested in creating and supporting innovation hubs, venture capital funds, or corporate social responsibility programs. It also includes the civil society, which has engaged in raising awareness, advocacy, and capacity building for innovation and entrepreneurship. To illustrate some of these opportunities, I will share some examples of successful and inspiring innovations and startups that have emerged. One example is Kowlar, a startup that uses IoT devices and machine learning algorithms to track and monitor the health and behavior of dairy cows. This innovation has helped improve the efficiency and productivity of dairy farming in Pakistan, 
while also reducing the environmental impact and improving animal welfare. Another example is Telemart, an e-commerce platform that has disrupted the traditional retail industry in Pakistan by offering a wide range of products at competitive prices, with fast and reliable delivery. This innovation has not only created jobs and income opportunities for many young people, but it has also enabled customers to access and purchase products from anywhere, anytime, and at lower costs. A third example is Invest2 Innovate, a social enterprise that provides mentorship, training, and funding to young entrepreneurs in Pakistan, particularly women and marginalized groups. This initiative has helped many startups overcome the challenges of funding, skills, and infrastructure, while also promoting social inclusion and gender equality. To conclude, fostering innovation and entrepreneurship in Pakistan's youth is a key priority for achieving sustainable and inclusive economic growth, social development, and environmental sustainability. However, this requires overcoming the challenges of access to finance, skills, and infrastructure, and seizing the opportunities of growing market demand, emerging technologies, and supportive ecosystem. To achieve this, we need to adopt a multi-stakeholder approach that involves the government, private sector, civil society, and academia, and that promotes policies and initiatives that facilitate and support innovation and entrepreneurship at all levels. By doing so, we can unlock the potential of Pakistan's young people to become the next generation of change makers, job creators, and leaders. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos on Pakistan and other topics. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.